everybody, welcome back to the Starship Crochet. Sorry I have been not here. <laughs> it's, eh, there's a lot of crazy stuff um, going on and, you know, but it, it happens. Life happens. So, I am back and I thought that I would share with you what I've been doing. Now, when people have the, oh, hang on, gotta roll back. Hopefully I'm gonna remember what I wanted to tell you now because I wanted to, anyway, ADHD at work. Okay, so I have been dying. I made I made a video uh, in the car of all the things that I got because I finally found the $5 Michaels um, um, mystery boxes. And I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. It's the afternoon and there's a whole mess of boxes here. So I got two. I had to be good, unfortunately, so, but I really wanted to at least experience it at least once. So I got two boxes, and uh, it was filled with a lot of stuff that was much more than $5, so I really got a deal. And there was a whole mess of, um, um, like, Easter things, because what Michael, what Michael does is, at the end of the season, and they don't announce it, and they never know, so believe me, I've tried to call and ask. It just kind of ha happens, pops up. Um, but every, after every season of uh, things they can't get rid of, what they do is they put them all, I guess they mark them down and put them all in a box and then, uh, they put them out and then people buy them for $5. I think it's pretty cool, you know? Um, and then we get to share it with you guys on YouTube. Uh, but it was really, it was really awesome. Um, like I said, it was just, it, it, not everything is going to be yarn. Um, I mean, you could get some yarn in it, but it's really more the seasonal, uh, items that they marked down. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I did get a, it was a really cool pillow and it said, oh, let me think, let me think, let me think. It said, um, I don't, I don't know, bless this nest or something. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool because, uh, pretty soon this is going to be changing. See, I won't be constricted to a teeny weeny little area. Um, and I'll be able to have more room to do more things. Mm. But that will be forthcoming. You're just going to have to catch that video when it comes out. Um, not too soon yet, but, you know, soon coming. In any case. So, whips, which are work in progress, not, you know. <laughs> um, are like I said, they're, they're works in progress, and, and and a lot of us who do crochet have a lot of whips in progress. Uh, they have we have a lot of um, projects, multiple projects, I guess you could say, going at the same time. Um, with me, like I said, just because of the 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 small area you know that I have, um, so I would kind of go from one to the other to the other. Well, this week I decided to get them all finished. And I did. This is one. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm kind of into wall hangings, you know, kind of decorative and stuff. Um, and sunflowers, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, I ended up uh, did buying, I did buy this particular pattern. I mean, usually they're like, you know, one or two bucks. You know, big whoop. Um, and sometimes it's worth it. Um, I would like to, you know, possibly design my own things, but sometimes I just don't know what to design. Uh, and, and I think it's just because there's just kind of so much going on and I really can't, you know, concentrate and get in that mode. It's like writing. I have this one story that I've written and it is in limbo. In fact, there's a couple of them. I have to finish them so I can post them. Um, but it's got to be, I don't know, the right thing. And then so many things have happened and, you know life. So anyway, I will show you the uh, projects that I've worked on that I finished. That was one. Uh, that top that I was talking about, although I did, I was, I did put it on earlier uh, and I found that it was, uh, even though it was cotton, it was kind of hot. <laughs> so uh, my next project probably is to find something, um, I don't know, this lightweight, uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I did a V, it was a V stitch. Let's see if I can get in there. Show you, I'm gonna peek over. Well, if you can tell there's little V's in there. I think they're upside down on this one. 
uh, but yeah. Um, and then I just uh, I decided to turn it into a tank top. And then I did the double crochet for the straps. And rather than doing, you know, straps in the back, straps in the front, I just went all the way around. So it was one, then I just attached them. So it's pretty cool. Um, I like it. And I used uh, a couple different ones. This was Ahoy, and that was uh, Sugars and Cream. And um, I don't know, I used some kind of a sage green, some kind of a blue, and then a, like a lime green here. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a um, uh, a little bit of character, I guess. So it's not all the same. So it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So that is that one. That was one of the big ones. And it was, I guess, the back panel I made too big, too wide. Uh, so I had to, uh, <laughs> I guess what they call it, frogging, is when you have to take apart so much or possibly all which I did I frogged the whole thing and then I had to redo it and you know measure it out correctly and everything which I did so it's okay um but yeah that took a very long time <laughs> and you know sometimes it's just like like I said with the ADHD sometimes I think you just kind of get overwhelmed or sometimes I'm so close to the end I just don't want it to end you know <laughs> so I just you know but then, you know, I, I don't know, something kind of kicked in and I said, all right, I got to finish all this stuff. So I did. Uh, this was hmm, peekaboo. And this was a, a, it's our tortoise shell cat. Um, so I, it would, this sort of was sort of like, these were like sort of her colors. Um, and I just made, you know, again, it was a little wall hanging for the door. Um, and I will show you where I got that from in a minute. And now uh, this was another one that I kind of worked on little by little. Um, because like I said, with the crochets, that's why they're called whips, you can kind of put them aside. You don't have to finish everything right at the same, you know, um, on the same day or as soon as you start picking it up. Because, um, again, life. But anyway, this is the owl. And this was from YouTube. And it was it, uh, the... Uh, her accent was a little bit thick, but what I did like was she also put it on the top. Uh, she wrote it out, so it made it uh, easy in case I couldn't understand her for whatever reason. But she was very cool. And this was a multiple of stitches, single crochet, uh, some double crochet on the wings here. Um, this is a popcorn stitch, or I mean, it might be a bobble stitch. Hang on a minute. Nope, that's a popcorn stitch um on here and then and uh, i didn't have a uh, like a piece of wood or a stick or anything so i put her on my hermione wand yes this is from hermione from harry potter so it was kind of in the background you know just kind of hanging out doing nothing and i'm just like you know what i'm gonna perch her right here <laughs> so that's my owl now normally the beads would be bigger but i didn't have bigger beads so i said you know what it's my owl she's gonna have blue eyes and orange eyes and whatever but so that uh, she's kind of perched in the kitchen so that's that where i got that from uh and i finished that and i'm very happy i finished that because it's like i said sometimes it's kind of like i get overwhelmed and i'm like okay i gotta stop now or it's late and i'm tired and i have to stop because then I start making mistakes and I'm just, then I get frustrated and, eh. but you know, it happens. Suki. <gasps> hey Suki, she's poking her head up. Hello Suki, how are you? And then over, let's see, where is Cinnamon? There's Cinnamon. Hi Cinnamon. Can we say hi everybody? Hello. <laughs> yes, the Poochies. Gotta get them in. I'm also into pineapples. I want to make a pineapple. Uh, I started doing a pineapple last night, but it, it wasn't turning out the way that I wanted. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know, pineapples and sunflowers. I don't know what it is. Oh, yes. I got to show you what I... It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. But I found... Mm. a pattern 
and I really loved it because it's something from my childhood. And making it hot pink is just me. You know, I figure I got these hot colors and this hot yarn, so I figure I wanted to do something with it. Now, let's see. It's not finished. This is still in progress. Now, it may look like your average normal bag or, you know, whatever. But when I find some ping pong balls, you heard me right, ping pong balls. When I find those ping pong balls, and actually, actually, before I before I give it away, um, what I'm going to do because it started out with you know this is the bottom, but what I'm thinking is not doing the bottom, so I can maybe do it like a little uh, puppet. And I know it's not giving it away just yet, but those of you who are from my era would know. But as soon as I find some ping pong balls, because I've already got the, what do you call them, pipe cleaners, I'm going to make, well, you know what, well, I'll probably make one puppet and the rest of them like that, and I can keep things in them. Because when I finish... It's going to look like yip, 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 It's the yip, yip from Sesame Street. I was like, I saw that. I'm like, oh my God, I have to do that. So I did. So yeah, so that's, that's one that's sort of a hold off. Like I said, until I find some ping pong balls. Now, what I've been doing is I, when I'm working on certain patterns, I put them in this book. Um, this is a different sort of pattern. And I want to make a big, sort of, it's like a geometric blanket. I guess they call it a carpenter's wheel. A carpenter's wheel afghan. But I want to, you know, make one for the bed and I want to, I'm going to make it in my teal colors. Ooh, sorry, not an earthquake. Ah, no! Um, so when I work on things, I put them in there. Now my other patterns, which I want to eventually do, I'll we'll deal with that later. I put them in a big notebook. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I just have to have something funny on the front, you know. Um, so let's see. I put my patterns in here. I print them off. The, you know, the ones that I don't want to forget that I do want to do eventually. Uh, like liquidator, I want to do that, and you know, some of the, the darkwing duck ones I haven't finished yet. I've just done this one, this one, and bush root. Um, I've done this, this is already done, so I want to do want to save that. This is a Yorkie um, pattern. I don't like this, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that to make it look more Yorkie, and I'm just like. Um, no, I gotta figure something else on that. Um, this is one I don't know if I will do or not. Uh, this is very complex, complicated. It's gonna take a lot of time. So this is one of those on the back burners, but I just had it, I just wanted to get it printed up. This was from the Eiffel Tower that I did. Now this one was the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the cat. Um, there's one for Pusheen that I did up. Let's see. And I want to do some, um, chicken towel toppers. I, I like towel toppers. Um, you know, it's, it's some animagroomies. I've done some animagroomies, a couple. Um, I did make one of these. I made this one, actually, the teal one. Uh, let's see, towel toppers. This is still a work in progress with just the first two rows done. Uh, let's see, bucket hats. Uh, what else have I got here? Another bucket hat. Um, this is another top. Um, I want to do that one. See, these are some of the earrings. Uh, some of the jewelry. I don't know how much we can make. I mean, I did, I did buy, uh, some, the, the, I guess, I was going to say dental floss, embroidery floss. So I'm going to try to maybe use those and see what I can do for, you know, 
trying to make some jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, that's sort of like a haltery top kind of thing. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I kind of like that. That'll be one of those in the back burners. Uh, another towel topper. Uh, let's see. And, you know, so any place where there's, like, you know, free patterns and stuff like that, I just I just print them up and I put them in here. The things that I do, that I want to do. You know, sort of like a catalog of things, you know, um, that I would just kind of, you know, like to do. To decorate and, you know, spread some crochet joy. <laughs> um, all right. So, let's see. I got to fix Baby Yoda. He's a... Uh, oh... He's holding his, the little animagroomy here that I made. This is my first one, too. I made this from, it was from Jada and Stitches. Who, congratulations, by the way, she hit 500,000 subscribers. So congratulations to her. Uh, so this was, uh, it wasn't exactly like the one that she did, but I did follow her pattern. So that was pretty cool. And um, Baby Yoda here, because right now he's just kind of on cardboard. So what I want to do is I want to kind of get it steady. I want to pull it in. And I want to get some feet, make them little feetsies. And then uh, just kind of get them a little bit more balanced. Now that I've got a little more experience under my belt, because this was the first thing I ever did. Oh, he, he is wearing this, <laughs> a Hawaiian plumera leaf or a plumera flower. I just put it on him just because I made it and it was pretty. Um, but, um, so he was the first thing that I ever made. And I was very proud of it. Uh, this was really easy. Um, but doing this and this was a little bit tough. Even even the fingers here. I had to learn how to do the thing. I don't remember how I did that. <laughs> He'll probably be getting a little bit of a makeover. Just to balance him a little bit. I love Grogu. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, and that is Suki guarding the house. There we go. Oh, yes, there is one more thing. This is another one of those, I guess you could say, work in progress. Uh, with the leftover yarn from the owl, I added it onto my uh, corner to corner blanket that I'm making uh, myself with all leftover yarn. So it kind of started out like this. And then I was going to do some kind of picture in it. But then I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep going with left the all the leftover yarn from my projects. Because sometimes you have, you know, like a small ball or something like that. And um, what am I going to do with it? So, ta-da! And I have started to pull it in. Where is it? On the corner. Ah, on this corner right here. So I started to pull it in because I got it to the length and width that I want. So now I'm just going to keep going here until we meet in the middle and we are done at that corner. But uh, let me show you some of the colors. Let's see. I'm trying to look at it through the colors. <laughs> so, yeah. Just a little something to kind of keep me cozy that's not too, too big. Because the temperature blanket that I did over there, I decided to have this really great idea to do like different stitches each color and stuff which was not a bad idea um but then it just kind of didn't look right you know because well not that it didn't look right but i started out doing all double crochets um and again this was a long time ago when i started a few years ago um and i just i so there's some of the stitches i just i like and you know, I just the double crochet just seems kind of boring because of it's against all these other the all these other stitches that I've been doing. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing working on some granny squares. Yes, that's another thing. Cause I want to make a purse, a granny square purse. There's some granny square square purses, and but I don't want to make it the way they they made. I'm going to do like sort of like a square one or a rectangular one um, because I never have enough room in my purse. And then when I do, when I try to go on a purse diet, you know, I take everything out and I, you know, and then it's like, then it's like too big and then it keeps adding up and then it's too much. I say, oh my God, oh, I don't know what to do anymore. So I figure, well, you know what? I'm just going to crochet me a purse. What the heck? 
Yeah. Um, so what is on your hook? Tell me what's on your hook. What's going on with you guys? Um, and yeah, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's going on? Do you have any special projects that you're working on? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, and let's see, what else have you got going? Have you dabbled in clothing or jewelry? Um, what is your favorite thing to crochet? What is your favorite crochet yarn? Um, I, I don't know what it is, but I like my crochet four hook. Um, even though the crochet five was my first one, but I like the four better. I don't know why. I mean, I, Tighter stitch, maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, I should go explore the five again and see just what it is. <gasps> just to get back to my crochet five hook. Why did we separate? <gasps> so that's what I've been up to. And I think, well, if there's anything else, I'll tell you in the next video. There will be a next video because I am going to be possibly doing something tomorrow I might be a little naughty just a little but I'm gonna tell you all about it all right this is Marcy signing off from the Starship Crochet see you guys later